Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about a new sniping strategy that has to deal with CS.money. Real quick guys, I just want to give a little shout out to Utrade. They graciously sponsored this video and they're an upcoming Discord server primarily centered around trading CSGO items. The Discord has weekly giveaways with really good items. You can do a trade with other people, check prices on skins or just chill in the general chat. The staff are currently doing an off wildfire giveaway worth around $65. So if you want a chance to win or are interested in trading, go check them out in the description and show them some love. With that out of the way guys, let's talk about this new sniping strategy that you can do with CS.Money. So if you haven't heard, recently CS.Money updated their sticker pricing. So basically almost every sticker in the game actually gains value on CS.Money. Stickers that would never have gained value before on there now do. It used to just be Cataviti 2014, Cataviti 2015 stickers, and usually the really high tier stickers. But now, even those stickers from Cataviti 2019, even the Vici Gaming Hollows are giving actual overpay on CS.Money, which I think is absolutely insane. It's it's uh, not a very good way to do the marketplace, but there is a sniping strategy now that exists that you can actually try out for yourself. I have done it myself and it does work. And uh, if you if you do this correctly, you can make some money off the of CS money. Which, to be honest, they uh, kind of deserve it considering they give such low prices for your items. But uh, with that being said, guys, let's get straight into this sniping strategy. So you're going to need a few things to start off this sniping strategy. The first thing you're going to want to have is some steam balance. It doesn't really matter how much you have. You're going to want just at least like a dollar or so. And then you can pretty much infinitely expand that to however much money you want to actually spend on this sniping strategy. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're logged into CS.Money. Make sure it's not an API scam or anything like that. Make sure on the, you are on the legit site. And then also make sure that you are logged into the Steam community on your web browser because it's very important that it's on your web browser and not the actual Steam app because you're going to want to also have an extension called a float.db extension from Chrome. It's called the CSGO Float Market Checker. Basically what this extension does is it allows you to go onto the Steam community market on your web browser and it'll show you a lot of very useful things for this typing strategy. If you can see up on screen here, it'll show you if stickers are scratched and it'll also give you an ability to check a screenshot of the actual weapon if you are for example not able to open the actual CSGO game and inspect it in game. Furthermore, it also tells you the float of the item in case you can get a nice float that warrants overpay on CS.Money itself. The next thing you're going to want to use is called CSGO Sticker Search, and it's a website. You can basically go on there and put any sticker in, and then it'll search the entire community market for skins with those stickers on them. And basically what you want to do is go on to CSGO Sticker Search, find a sticker that gets overpay on CS.Money. It can be a lot of different stickers. For example, the Atlanta 2017 Hollows, those kind of stickers are very nice. What you want to do is go ahead and put one of those stickers in and then you want to click search. You can do search for exact sticker positioning if you want to do that or you can do just a general search of all of the stickers on the marketplace and basically what you want to do is just search through the marketplace, go look, click on different stickers and sort of just experiment around until you find something that looks like a really good deal. Basically the way you want to do this is look at the buy orders on the actual weapon. You can see those when you click on them. You can see it up on screen as well. What you want to do is check that buy order and if that buy order is at a certain price and the sticker warrants overpay on cs.money you can combine those two values figure out how much it adds in general and then you can go over to cs.money and trade that on there once the skin is untrade banned and once you've bought it off the market and make some nice little profit on there last night i tried this out for myself i bought an ssg08 Ghost Crusader stat track, well worn, and it had a Phase Atlanta 2017 sticker on it. And what this sticker actually added was about 90 cents on CS.Money. I bought the skin for about $3.80, and on CS.Money it's worth about $4.40. So I made a bit of profit just off doing that. So guys, the strategy definitely does work. It's a it's a very solid one. You can make a lot of profit if you just do this consistently. You do have to wait for the seven day trade ban, sadly, but that's going to pretty much occur in any sort of profit making sphere in CSGO. I've also kind of figured out a sort of price guide for how much these stickers will actually add to the weapon based on how much CS money overpays for them. So basically when you have a $20 sticker on the Steam community market, that's going to add about a dollar on the actual skin uh, when you're on CS.money. 
And then if you have a sticker that is worth about $10, that should add about half of that or maybe less, around 50 cents. And if you have a sticker that's worth like $50, that's going to be a little bit more than double of the $20 price point. So it should add about $2.50 or so to the actual skin. So you can base it off of that. So for example, I found this P250 Valence on the market for about $10.14 with a Cloud9 foil on it. And it's worth about 64 cents on buy order. That means the markup is about $9 or so. And if you check the Cloud9 sticker, it is worth about $50. And that means that the cloud end sticker is roughly going to add about $2.50, maybe a little bit more than that. So that means that this is not a profitable trade because it's worth $10 on the market. And you can see that the cloud nine is only worth 50. It's not some crazy expensive sticker. So it's not going to add as much value on CS.money and we're not gonna make profit on this trade. So we're not gonna do it obviously. Alternatively though, we do have this Space Soldiers foil on best position on an Op Phobos Factory new. It goes for about $3 on the Steam Community Market for a non-stickered version. This one, it costs about $4 on the Steam Community Market. And if we check that Space Soldiers foil, you can see that it's worth about $10. It also has a Luminosity foil on it that's worth about $6. So I could say that this one is probably pretty close to making profit on CS.money, but probably not quite there. So this one's at least closer. And that's essentially how you do the strategy, guys. You just go and experiment and find out what stickers are worth based on what you buy and kind of just make sure that you're trying to get into that profit margin by figuring out how much the sticker actually adds to the weapon and you know make sure you're buying some desirable weapons with good sticker positioning otherwise it's not going to add as much value on cs.money obviously the sticker position does affect price for something with a best position sticker that one can add more value than something with a worst position sticker for example and uh, with that being said guys a little quick short video tutorial on how to do this new sniping strategy and how to use it to make profit on cs.money with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it thank you so much for the support on my most recent video you guys absolutely blew that one out of the water so i really wanted to thank you for that and also guys i wanted to make sure that you go and check and see if you can actually drop me a subscription to my youtube channel the reason for that is because i post a lot of really useful good content in terms of investing and if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to my channel that would really really be appreciated also be sure to like this video if it helped you make some profit and if you have any more questions about this be sure to ask in the comments below also be sure to go check out that nalo community discord server if you have any further questions we have a very great price checking and very strong staff on that server we also do frequent giveaways so if you guys want to go check that out that link is in the description below as well i'll see you all next time guys peace